Dawn revealed that Ceres has a heavily cratered surface, though with fewer large craters than expected. Models based on the formation of the current asteroid belt had predicted Ceres should have 10 to 15 craters larger than 400 kilometers, 250 miles in diameter. The largest confirmed crater on Ceres, Kerwin Basin, is 284 kilometers, 176 miles across. The most likely reason for this is viscous relaxation of the crust slowly flattening out larger impacts. Ceres North Polar Region shows far more cratering than the equatorial region, with the eastern equatorial region in particular comparatively lightly cratered. The overall size frequency of craters of between 20 and 100 kilometers, 10 to 60 miles, is consistent with their having originated in the late heavy bombardment, with craters outside the ancient polar regions likely erased by early cryovolcanism. Three large shallow basins, Planitiae, with degraded rims are likely to be eroded craters. The largest, Vendemia Planitia, at 800 kilometers, 500 miles, across, is also the largest single geographical feature on Ceres. Two of the three have higher than average ammonium concentrations. Dawn observed 4,423 boulders larger than 105 meters, 344 feet, in diameter on the surface of Ceres. These boulders likely formed through impacts and are found within or near craters. Though not all craters contain boulders. Large boulders are more numerous at higher latitudes. Boulders on Ceres are brittle and degrade rapidly due to thermal stress. At dawn and dusk, the surface temperature changes rapidly. And meteoritic impacts. Their maximum age is estimated to be 150 million years. Much shorter than the lifetime of boulders on Vesta.